Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Andy. Amazon SageMaker takes away most of the muck of machine learning, making it easier and faster to build, train, tune, and deploy custom models. In this example, we're going to use machine learning to build a music recommendation service. To do this, we're going to get the play history from our users. We're going to apply an algorithm to it. We're going to optimize it, deploy it, and then based on what a user likes, we can make recommendations on the next songs to listen to. And when we've done all that, we'll have a little bit of fun with AWS Deep Lens. So let's start by getting the play history from our users. You can spin up a fully managed and configured notebook in SageMaker running Jupyter, which is already connected to your data in S3. Notebooks allow you to quickly slice and dice your data to get it ready for machine learning. So here, we'll select from our play history data set a set of fields we want to use to build the model. And now we're ready to start training. All you need to do is tell SageMaker about your training run, specify the data set, and the training cluster spins up automatically, depending on the size, the memory, and the CPU and GPU usage that you need. SageMaker automatically provisions an elastic training cl cluster under the hood for your training. Now, we support any algorithm, including those running on TensorFlow and MXNet, along with common data science libraries such as Scikit-Learn and R. You can bring up anything else to the platform just by specifying a container of your choice. Now, while you can bring up any algorithm, a lot of the common algorithms which are in use today suffer from some pretty specific limitations. The first limitation is that uh, they can be very slow to train. Uh, the second is that they are memory bound. That means that what can happen is you don't get to use all of your data to train your models. You get constrained by the memory and you get constrained by the time it takes to train those models. So instead, what we do is we have made available 10 different algorithms on the SageMaker platform, uh, which are designed to be 10x faster, 10x better than the currently available implementations. And we really started from a blank sheet of paper and design these algorithms from the ground up, asking them the question, what would these look like if we designed them to run natively in the cloud? So what we're going to run here is a factorization machine. And as you can see, um, what we do with the factorization machine, first of all, is we parallelize the model training under the hood. In addition to that, we're going to shard the data automatically and send it to the right models under the hood. So this parallelization and automatic distribution allows you to train your models much more quickly. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to stream your data from S3 directly into the models. And as Andy says, we can train uh, the majority of our models with a single pass over the data. And what this means is you're no longer constrained to running just models with training on gigabyte data sets, but terabyte, hundreds of terabytes, even petabyte data sets can be trained in a single pass by streaming it in there. So now our first baseline model is ready. We've trained across millions of rows of data, and we may very well be happy with the accuracy of this model. Um, but it's very unlikely that we get the perfect model the first time. And so what we can do is you can tweak and fine tune all the different parameters and all the different weights inside your model, and that affects the accuracy. Sometimes it's going to go up, sometimes it's going to go down. And SageMaker provides automatic model tuning, or what they call hyperparameter optimization. By changing the parameters of the model, you can change its accuracy. And hyperparameter optimization allows you to change those parameters, retrain the model, and then evaluate its accuracy. Now, this can be a very repetitive and time-consuming process. It's usually manual, uh, and it can take just a, a ton of time. In SageMaker, we automatically run multiple fine-tuning runs in parallel. And we actually use machine learning to evaluate the weights of all the individual models. And here, we're not just looking at the accuracy of the model. We are iteratively selecting interesting features from the different models and incorporating them into the next iteration and the next optimization run. And we go over and iterate again and again and again, and our models become much more feature rich. They're detecting more features in the data, and their accuracy increase, increases as a result. So from here, we can select our best performing model. And now, with a single click, we can deploy this to a fully managed, elastic, fault-tolerant, multi-availability zone cluster, and we'll run the model behind a friendly, easy-to-integrate API. So now with a single API call from our app, we can make fast, accurate music recommendations for our customers at scale. 
There's no muss, there's no fuss. SageMaker removes all of the undifferentiated heavy lifting associated with machine learning so that you can focus on getting the absolute best models and all the ideas that go along with it. OK, so what we think is going to happen once you get this capability is you're going to be able to train dozens and dozens more models. This stuff gets really addictive really, really quickly. Because it's so easy to train new models in SageMaker, you can use all the data that's available to you to do whatever you like. Let your imaginations run wild. You're no longer constrained by the muck and the heavy lifting. You're now able to use all of your data and optimize those models quickly. And so you can come up with all sorts of wonderful ideas built and trained inside SageMaker. So in continuing the theme with music, we could train a deep learning model to recognize the album name just by looking at the album art on the cover of the record. Or we could do some simple face recognition and detect smiles and frowns. Now, one of the things you'll appreciate as you go through this is that you're really experimenting with machine learning. And that's probably the best way to learn and build your skills. To continually refine and invest in your own education is one of the biggest things that we can do as developers. And it's really this inspiration that led us to create AWS Deep Lens which is the world's first deep learning enabled wireless video camera specifically built to help developers hone their skills with machine learning. You can train these up in SageMaker. We'll deliver them down to the device. So DeepLens runs the models directly onto the device. The video doesn't have to go anywhere. They can be trained in SageMaker and deployed to the model. So I'm going to do a quick demo here uh, over on the demo podium. Uh, I have a uh, couple deep lens devices uh, set up and ready to go. We have one on a tripod right here. Uh, you can see it for the first time. Uh, it's small and compact. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do uh, a couple of live album mini reviews. So we've pre-deployed the models that we talked about before, the identification of albums based on the album art, and facial recognition um, and facial uh, sentiment analysis. And those are running directly down onto the device. So I'm going to try and do a mini review with one of my all-time favorite albums. So you can see Dark Side of the Moon detected with a positive expression. Next, I'm going to try an album which I'm not quite so fond of. So. We correctly identified whatever you need somebody by Rick Astley, and then we correctly identified my negative expression. So we can now take these mini reviews. Um, because the video never has to leave the device, we can just send up the metadata to our recommendation service, which is already running on SageMaker. So we can send that up to the device and spit out some new recommendations uh, using the model that we just trained. So here you can see Eric Clapton, The Rolling Stones, and Fleetwood, Wha Fleetwood Mac. Not too shabby. So I want to close out this demo uh, on a word about uh, availability. So at the conference this week, uh, or today and tomorrow, we'll be running a series of deep learning workshops. They're focused around teaching the fundamentals of machine learning using computer vision, using the deep lens devices. And if you attend one of these workshops, which, as I say, run from today to tomorrow, you'll walk out of those workshops with a free deep lens in your hands. You guys are going to love them. Additionally, anybody that attends a session in the machine learning track or at the Deep Learning Summit will get an opportunity to get a free Deep Lens, which will ship early next year. And we're taking pre-orders on Amazon.com starting today. We can't wait to see what you're going to build with Deep Lens and SageMaker. Let your imaginations run wild. And with that, I'll hand it back to Andy. Thanks a lot.